Toby Keith is a country mainstay who, although has collected many career accolades, in his eyes, none compared to his family. His daughter Crystal has even proven to be equally as talented as her father. But back in 2017, his family was almost taken away from him. We're here today to test how well you know the 90s hit maker. I'm playing trivia host today, so let's get started. Let's learn more about Toby Keith. Question number one, which song was named Billboard Magazine's most played country songs of the 1990s? Was it A, How Do You Like Me Now, B, I Should Have Been a Cowboy, C, Who's That Man, or D, Wish I Didn't Know Now? It's B, Should Have Been a Cowboy. I should have been a cowboy. I should have learned to ride. This song was released on February 12, 1993 as his debut single and the first from his self-titled album. It accumulated more than 3 million spins on country radio, snacking the title it did. Question number two. How many times has Keith won Entertainer of the Year? A, two, B, three, C, four, or D, five? B, three. Kobe took home ACM Entertainer of the Year in 2002, 2003, and 2004. Thank all the people that are behind the scenes, all my, my band who gets out. And, uh, and jams it every night for me, and the guys who bust all the equipment and uh, bust their hump every night. The ACMs weren't the only time the singer had been honored for the prestigious award. For the CMAs, he has been nominated four times, but never won. Question number three. Which song almost canceled Keith's career? A, Should Have Been a Cowboy. B, Red Solo Cup. C, How Do You Like Me Now, or D, Courtesy of the Red, White, and Blue. Rum roll, please, because it's C, How Do You Like Me Now. How do you like me now? So here's the T. It was released on November 1999 as the second single and title track from his album of the same name. He had recorded it at the end of his contract with Mercury Record Nashville, in a Billboard interview in 2005, Keith noted that the label execs rejected all but two songs from the album, essentially after recording two more songs and getting those also rejected, Keith was out. He asked to terminate his contract with Mercury, purchasing the rights to the rest of the album. When the album was released, his lead single, When Love Fades, wasn't doing so hot. So, the singer asked if he could switch the single with How Do You Like Me Now. DreamWorks execs were scared to put it out, but within five days, they swapped it out, and How Do You Like Me Now got its shot. Question number four. Which song did Keith's daughter perform with him at the 2004 CMA Awards? A. As Good As I Once Was B, Beer For My Horses, C, I Love This Bar, or D, Mockingbird. Mockingbird was a song that his daughter Crystal would join him on for the 2004 CMA Awards. Y'all, not only does the apple not fall far from the tree, but this was the first time she had performed on stage with her dad. That's a a lot of people. After the performance, the song would climb the top 30 on the charts, and because of encouragement from her dad, she never did surf the internet to see how the performance did. Quote, My dad's rule was not to read any of that stuff, so I just got to hear what people told me. When it comes to Crystal, we won't be seeing any new music, at least anytime soon. But I promise that the reason why is just as an important and rewarding. She's raising beautiful babies. I mean, just she's she's a mother. She loves to sing, but she loves being a mother, and she's so busy with those kids. They are constantly doing something, and when they're asleep, they sleep on top of her. They're just it's like <laughs> puppies around them, uh, uh, a dog. They just they just uh, worship her, and they're so busy together. She keeps them so busy, but she. I heard her sing at an event. Um, 
she still got the pipe. She can go and she can write. Like her daddy, she is a songwriter's heart. And she even wrote a song and surprised him at her wedding. Hey, all my friends are there. We're in Cabo, beautiful wedding. And I walk out to dance with her and, and they go, here's your surprise. And she dropped it on me. And I was sitting there crying. I was like, this is terrible. You have just busted me out. Cause it's such a powerful song. Question number five, which of Toby's family members tragically died and it inspired one of his greatest hits? Was it A, dad, B, mom, C, brother, or D, sister? Sadly, it was A, his dad. My daddy served in the army. We lost his right eye, but he March 24, 2001, Toby's dad, Hubert K. Koval Jr., was killed in a car accident on Interstate 35. He was driving his car when he was bumped by another vehicle, which sent his vehicle across the center median and was struck head on by a charter bus. From the ashes of tragedy would come. Telling our sister Sight the Boot during a media event back in 2017, quote, My dad was a true patriot. He never complained about his eye, which he lost while serving. He never complained about the time he served or how they treated him after. He just went back to work. He was just a good old solid cat. This song topped the Billboard Hot Country singles and tracks chart and reached number 25 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Comment below on who you'd like me to cover next. I think a Brad Paisley or Reba would be so much fun. Y'all, thank you so much for tuning in. This is Addison Hager for Taste of Country. Thanks for watching.